Acres, vast land, a sense of personal people can allies, annexation of Crimea. Well, Canada and Russia are the two largest countries in the world. They are separated by, by roughly 750 miles, covering the, the U.S. state of Alaska and the Bering Strait. As was noted in their 65th anniversary of diplomatic relations, the two countries share cold winters, vast land, a sense of northerness, and a love of hockey. The two nations were originally somewhat allied during World War II, with Canada be being utilized to sh ship weapons and aid to Russia. But in the mid-1940s, a Soviet embassy clerk defected to Canada and revealed the extent of Russia's spy network. This event, according to some, sparked the cold longer than even the United States. Throughout the Cold War, Canada regularly allied with the Western Bloc and NATO against the Soviet Union. However, for a brief period, Canada's Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau attempted to bridge the Cold War gap. During one visit to Moscow in the 1970s, Trudeau described the United States as Canada's greatest cultural, economic, and military threat. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in late December of 1991, Canada almost immediately entered into an official diplomatic relationship with the new Russian government. In a final act of opposition to the former Soviet Union, Canada was also the first Western country to recognize the new nation to the country, share cold winters, vast land, a sense of northerness, and a love of hockey. The two nations were originally of Russia's results throughout the during one cultural and government, Western country of the region's oil and gas relations has led to both cooperation and distrust. For issues like, like joint Arctic search and rescue operations, the two have seen bilateral support. They've also worked together on the global partnership against the spread of weapons and materials of mass destruction. However, the expulsion of Russia from the G8 in 2014, since the end of the Cold War,